All right, Shalom, I'm like him. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakodash. I'd like to give double honors to the Pops and the Elders at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect to see just word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to tie this lesson. We're about to enter into another realm. We're about to enter into another realm, man. Because this place. Just this whole system, this uh, 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 this kingdom, this rulership that's going on today, is uh, it's pretty much it's death, man. You know, and, and, and it's these Edomites, which are the wicked, you know, the so-called white man, uh, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of, is not the true rulers, man. You know, and that's why everything is out of course. You know, that's why scripture said let everything be done decently in order. Yeah, and, and that's how it's supposed to be. And guess what? The wrong ruler is in rulership. That's just like putting a diesel into a regular gas, uh, like a regular car, man. It's not going to work. And that's why we see the, the condition of the earth that is in right now. So before I get anything, I'm going to start off uh, Sirach chapter 10. And on um, one, it says a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. See, well ordered, man. You know, and guess what? You 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 got you have to have wisdom to rule. But Esau Edom has the ruler uh, have wisdom on the left hand side. And that's why everything is uh, pretty much going to shit, man. You know, the fool messed up, the air is messed up because this devil. Uh, with his, his left hand uh, witchcraft, you know, has to go, you know, go into labs and, and create these GMOs, man. You know, shoot these different uh, clone animals with steroids to keep feeding the people. Now it's at the point where, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, they hey, they feeding you horse meat and, and, and human, man. Because this devil, you know, that's how he get down. That's how he, he's in rulership, man. You know, people are, are on an eating schedule, man. When it's 12, that means it's time to eat, man. So, the, hey, this this is um this is one of the worst times to be in, man. You know, this is... And matter of fact, before I get anything else, I got this word realm in the etymology. It says, in the late 13th century, kingdom. See, yeah, we, 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 see this kingdom is about to be over with, man, pretty soon. You know, everything will once again be established in righteousness. You know, it says kingdom. Uh, it says uh, regal. Let's see what regal say. Hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me. Let's see what the word we regal say. Royal. Kingly. To be king. Worthy of king. King. Move in a straight line. To direct in a straight line. See? See, we're going to see ain't, ain't going to be no compromising in the kingdom, man, in the, in the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. It says to lead, to rule, thus to lead, to rule. Matter of fact, if I get anything, if I continue on on that, this is Revelations 2 and uh, 26. It says, and he that overcome it and keep my words until the end. To him will I give power over the nations. Why is that? Because uh, we're the ones that's going to uh, teach the nations the law, statutes, and commandments, man. But I said we're gonna, it's going to be ruled in a straight line. These are this is the uh, this is what we got to go by, you know. I like the devil he, he teaches you to to do whatever you want, man. You know, especially with these different philosophies. You know, just his laws, you are, you know, you, you got to stop and start signing everything. But just his philosophies, you know, he, such as that demonic Christianity tells you, you can do whatever you want. Uh, uh, just as long as you say you believe in Jesus, you're going to be saved, man. 
that's that's what they teach you, man. So it, there's no boundaries when it comes to Christianity. You can just do whatever the hell you want, man. But when it, but once we get into, uh, uh, into the kingdom, man, you're going to have to go by the law, statutes, and commandments. Nobody going to continue. It says, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Yeah, because you go off, we're going to beat your ass, man. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. So, yeah, we, we're going to bash your heads in and we catch a more bite in trying to eat a dog, man. You know? Uh, just just the, the heat and going off period. We're going to get at them, man. But we're going to, it's going to be, that's why we said rule them in a straight line. Just like uh, you uh, herd and sheep, you know, you got to kind of hit them, man, to get them back in line, man. You know? But we ain't going to kind of hit you. We're going we gonna, to we gonna put our all into it, man. You know? So let's go on back to uh, Sirach 10. In verse 2, it says, As the judge of the people is himself, so are his, so are his officers. And what manner of man are the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And that's why we see uh, wickedness upon the planet Earth, man. Because the wicked is ruling. But when uh, righteousness is established, you're going to know. Matter of fact, because everybody's depressed, you know, er Everyone wants this king to fall, man. You know? So this is Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But with the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And yeah, and you don't see people rejoicing. You know, they got social media to make it seem like they, you know, that they are all right. They live in it. But they just want to get some type of, uh, 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 Glory, vain glory for that because they ain't they, they they depressed man you know you got obese people from obesity you know that come from uh depression man you got these video games these different uh people watch tv all day because they are depressed man this is this is not a uh a, 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 um a way to live man you know people are not happy here in america already lost his luster man you know Verse 3, it says, An unwise king destroyeth his people, but the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Matter of fact, let's see. This is Matthew's. See, that's why his devil got to go down, man. Matthew 24. Let's see. Matthew chapter 24. In verse 22, it says, and, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. See? Because, hey, like we just read back in uh in Sirach, it says the uh the the um the through the prudence of I mean, yeah, through the prudence, uh it says a uh, wise king describe his people, man. He said, but the prudence of them, the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Yeah, because the law, statutes, and commandments is 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 meant for you to live that one day, a thousand years. Once we when we get those new bodies, we we ain't gonna never go out. It means we ain't gonna never have no no reason to die, man. Cause sin is the wages of death, man. So Israel, all Israel, you know, once they die on this side. You know, in the kingdom, we ain't going to never die, man. We're going to be immortal, man. You know? But through Esau, Edom, which teaches you to, uh, pretty much, he, he uh, 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 you know, make it natural for people just to, uh, uh, you know, do whatever the hell they want, man. And through his, 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 uh, this food, this air, the water. And his left-handed uh, 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 witchcraft, man, people are dying, man. If this devil got another 10 years, it wouldn't be no more 10 years still, man. At the end of the day, because this devil is going to destroy everything. He is self-destructive, man. And that's why the Lord said what well, he made. He put the spirit on them, them devils to create those missiles, because that's what's going to destroy them. You know? It says, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. See? So that lets you know that Yahweh Shemuel Shai is uh, 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 is in control, man. 
And it says in due time, well, he said over it one that is profitable. And that's talking about Yahweh Shah, because, hey, this, he coming back to take his, his kingdom, man. Matter of fact, let's see. Uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. Bear with me. Bear with me. Yeah, this is uh this is Revelations chapter 19 and verse 11. It says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in the righteousness he doth judge and make war. And that's telling you how it sounds. He come back on that on that fathership, man. That chariot, that huge chariot, and it's called faithful and true. That's a because he is the word. Second Ezra 15 and 1. You know, it says his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that meant no man knew but he himself. And it says he had head on with many crowns. Why is that, man? Because he coming to take the he's coming to take the kingdom back, man. You know, he said, uh 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 uh, if do my king and my son to fight, man. See, they said he came. He came to judge and make war, because when he come back, he's gonna wipe uh, uh, the the, the, uh, the military out, man. You know, so the devil gonna try to come at the Lord. He's gonna utterly destroy them, and that's gonna that's gonna be that time that day. Matter of fact, let's get down to Revelation the ninth chapter. Matter of fact. Let's get Proverbs 16 first. Proverbs 16 and 4. It says, The Lord have made all things for himself, yet even the wicked for the day of evil. See, it's a certain day for the wicked, the reason why they were created, man. Because they were the vessel of the Lord fitted for destruction, man. The Lord used these, is using these Edomites to show his power. You know, because it's it's a build up to this, man. It's a build up to the it's all it's a build up to the discretion of man. I said, what was written four time ran for our learning. This book was 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 is now open for us in this time. And and what is the kingdom that's ruling right now? America, man. So this is it's a build up to the discretion of America. It, it, America is throughout all the scriptures, man. Because this is the end I'll be out for all the heathen and the the ushering in of the kingdom of heaven. This is that vessel, man. This is that uh, uh, uh that arena the Lord chose, you know. So this is uh, Revelations nine and fifteen, and the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of man. See, that was the uh, those are the missiles, man. And they was created for that one thing to, to slay the third part of man, which are the wicked. You got the sons of man. You got the, you got the sons of God, the sons of man, and the sons of perdition. You know? So those, when, when, when the Edomites made them, the uh, Lord said he created the smith to blow the coals and the fire. So these devils created the thing that was going to destroy them. And that's the and that's gonna be the day where the, the uh that uh with his matter of fact let's see I don't want to get I'm getting tongue tied let's just get the scripture let's see this is second Ezra four and um let's see let's go to second Ezra four and um let's see uh bear with me. In 37, 2nd Ezra 4 and 37, it says, By measure have he measured the times, and by number have he numbered the times. He doth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. And guess what? Is that why is is that that certain day? That's that measure. That's when that measure is fulfilled. When those missiles hit ground zero, and, and uh, low one apart the number, we get delivered, man. When they let get delivered, man, Lord, we're a part of that number, man. You know, that's gonna be that. That's that day of evil. That's gonna be the. That's gonna be the end. I'll be out for these these heathens, man. 
you know, and, and, and them ruling, then it's going to be our time to rule, you know, matter of fact, because it's a great, it's a, it's a great gulf fix. It ain't going to just, uh, 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 just spill over into, uh, into uh, our kingdom now, man. It's, it's, it's a certain measure, measure of time and it's, it's a, a, a certain number, you know, the Lord chose for, for the devil to, uh, you know, be in a power, man. But it said until the said measure be fulfilled. That's why I said her plagues is going to come in her profession in that said measure, you know. So this is um, Joel 14 and 5. It says, since his days are determined. Matter of fact, let's get that word determined in the blue letter. Let's just see what it's saying. Because, hey, these Edomites are about to go down, man. So, but it's our time to rule, you know. But that time, yeah, how about some young shot? Uh, <coughs> he hear our cries, man. We are, we, we are fixed with, with the wicked every day, man. Let's see. Bear with me, I can This is Job, hmm, Job 14, uh, determined, Job 14 and 5, determined in his karats. It says to cut, sharpen, see? Decide, decree, determine, main, move, be decipher. See, it says move, see? He said he don't move nor stir them until the, until the measure be fulfilled, see? Be mutilated, <laughs> to cut, mutilate, to sharpen, to decide, to be decisive. So that's when your that's when it's gonna be cut off. Your real shit is gonna be cut off then and now. You know. Then that's when we're gonna, uh, you know, there's gonna be a time when you think you're gonna get away. Well, we're gonna kick them them bunker doors down, man. You are gonna think you got away. You know. Which, hey, you gotta go pick up some bodies, man. You gotta go dig some. You gonna have to dig some graves, and you gonna have to pick up them bodies, man. You know, bury them bodies. You know, and that and that's one reason, and that's gonna be one of the ways to nourish the earth, man. See, how about some outside? It's perfect. You know, that's gonna nourish the earth. That's gonna make the earth bigger, man. See, the Lord, He's perfect. You know, the mills is gonna cleanse the air, and all those bodies. From World War Three is going to make the earth bigger, man. It's going to nourish the earth, you know. So, um, let's see. <coughs> let's see. Bear with me. Let's read this again. Job fourteen and five. It says, "Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee." See. See, the Lord got a said measure of time where these devils are going to rule. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. See? Matter of fact, we can end off on this. I can. We can end off on this. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see. This is Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 17. It says, Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. Yeah, it says, Don't don't envy the sinners. Don't envy the, the lifestyle of an American man. Of a well, let's say a well-made American man. Somebody that's well off here, man. Don't envy that, but fear you how about Shemel Shah because we know that this place is going down. That's why verse 18 said, For surely there is an end. See? There's an end to this place. It's going to be a certain time where this kingdom is going to go down. And the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemel Shah is coming, man. You know, we're about to enter into another realm, another kingdom, another rulership where it's going to be righteousness, man. That's why this place is going down because it's wicked. It's, this is not 
This is not how the earth is supposed to be ran, man. You know? It says, For surely there is an end, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. See? Because we were expecting to rule, man. And guess what? We're going to rule forever because it's going to be in righteousness, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. Because he's ready. You know? We're going to rule in righteousness, man. You know? But, uh, yeah, that's it. I can imagine. Just hold it with edify. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Vashem Yahweh Shai, Vashem Kakodash. Double honors to the Apostle and Elder Great Millstone. Shout out to the elect to teach the word in our two favorite sincerity. DTA. Abad Babal.